hi everyone in this part of the video let's study about fundamental rights okay so what is fundamental rights these are the rights which are given to an individual okay which are protected and guaranteed by the constitution which is fundamental law of land the constitution is fundamental law of land and this constitution protects the rights given to an individual these rights are called fundamental rights got it the constitution protecting certain sets of rights which is given to an individual those rights are called fundamental rights okay the constitution is fundamental law of land why uh, why do we require fundamental rights to protect an individual from despotic rule of an executive for example if you are roaming in a city on a road okay and without any reason if a police arrest you to protect from that arrest certain uh, rights are given to you okay those rights are called fundamental rights okay to protect an individual from a uh, tyranny rule of executive okay when the government or uh, uh, authorities district magistrate will issue any order which are against your fundamental rights to protect from that order you are given fundamental rights okay uh, to protect an individual liberty um, uh, that helps in development of individuals okay suppose if certain rules are coming that you should not roam like after 7 o'clock or uh, without any uh, reason then these are uh, like against the individual liberty which will help in uh, development of an individual okay suppose freedom of speech and expression which will help an individual to uh, like develop his uh, personality okay develop his uh, uh, personality in the sense he can develop his uh, speaking skills such as like that okay to promote equality among group of people okay it can be uh, by article 18 where abolition of titles okay article 14 where uh, equal protection of law and equality before law it can be through that okay what are these fundamental rights right to these are the six fundamental rights earlier earlier there were seven but that is right to property was also right to property was also a fundamental right but this right to property was removed okay by 44th constitutional amendment act in 1978 so now presently there are only six fundamental rights those are right to equality right to freedom right against exploitation right to freedom of religion cultural and educational rights and right to constitutional remedies okay what are important features which you should you must know this will be asked in prelims okay what are the important features of fundamental rights these fundamental rights are not absolute but qualified that is these fundamental rights can have certain restrictions these restrictions should be reasonable suppose the article 19 provides you freedom of speech and expression okay but freedom of speech and expression has certain restrictions such as your speech and expression should not affect the sovereignty integrity and unity of india and it should not affect the like uh, other countries the co india's cordialization uh, re cordial relationship with other countries so these are the restriction these restriction should be reasonable okay and how can we determine whether the restriction is reasonable or not through courts okay so fundamental rights have certain reasonable restrictions the restrictions are reasonable or not is determined by courts these are not sacrosanct the fundamental rights are not permanent they can be repealed by constitutional amendment act such as right to property was repealed through constitutional amendment act 44th constitutional amendment act in 1978 okay they can be suspended in case of national emergency under article 352 of national emergency 350 th um, of national emergency fundamental rights can be suspended okay but article 21 and 22 can't be suspended in case of internal em emergency article 19 can't be suspended okay 
they are justiciable and enforceable through courts what does this mean justiciable and enforceable uh, enforceable through courts means suppose if my fundamental rights are violated by uh, any state okay by any state official or uh, public authority so i can go to court and the courts such as i can go supreme court directly under article 32 i can go to high court high court under article 226 where high court can issue can direct or issue writs for enforcement of my fundamental rights where high court can issue orders or direction for the enforcement of fundamental rights similarly the supreme court under article 32 can also issue writs for enforcement of fundamental rights issue uh, writs are nothing but uh, these are the five it contains five things such as writs of habeas corpus mandamus um, prohibition certiorari um, um, quarantum okay these are the five things which the court can order so that my fundamental rights are restored okay so my fundamental rights can be enforceable through courts now what does article 12 say article 12 defines the state the term state which is used in the part 3 of the constitution since as we all know fundamental rights covers from article 12 to article 35 which is part 3 of the constitution so in each like different articles the term state will be used so this state term will be defined by article 12 okay what does state means according to article 12 the state is nothing but government or parliament of india government of india or parliament union executive or legislature that is parliament of india either lok sabha or rajya sabha union government ministries okay union executive union executive comes all india services uh, uh, people okay these people state government and state legislature similarly local authorities such as municipalities and all other authority the, such as statutory and non statutory such as election commission or upsc union public service commission okay or any other private firms which act as an instrument of state okay these come under the definition of state okay as defined by article 12 now what is article 13 article 13 states that the law which are derogatory suppose the law which are derogatory or infringes the fundamental rights then it can be considered as invalid okay so what are these laws the laws can be permanent laws passed by the parliament or state legislature it can be temporary laws such as when the uh, national emergency or uh, um, when the president's rule is uh, being enforced in an state then when the president or the state governor will give ordinances ordinances then those are called as temporary laws when rule or regulation by the local authority uh, such as district magistrate and all okay these consider these can be considered as law when these laws infringes your fundamental rights then it can be termed as unconstitutional how if these laws infringes or uh, uh, abolishes your fundamental right you can go to court there is judicial review you can go to court the court will review the law and it can declare it as unconstitutional that is what with respect to article 13 but remember article 13 only deals with law but not constitutional amendment act since constitutional amendment act under article 368 is not a law okay if you make an constitutional amendment act which infringes fundamental rights okay you can't enforce it or declare it unconstitutional by court but if this constitutional amendment act alters the basic structure of the constitution which you will study in the future video okay if it alters the basic structure of constitution then you can go for judicial review where the court can declare it as unconstitutional okay that is with respect to article 13 i'll cover the article 14 and uh, other parts of fundamental rights in 
other uh, videos okay if you like the video please like share and subscribe and i will be covering all the topics and uh, from geography polity economics environment and all okay please like share and subscribe hit bell icon thank you